Hazel, what was so bad about the original script that you've modified for Francisco's review? I thought the original was sloppy, stupid, and poorly paced between the plot and review. I couldn't even deal with the writing. You can't just take it over without consent from for the modification. It wasn't good. By being on a time limit, what was on your mind back then? I swear, find the original from Shark since that'll explain everything from this mess ever. You're risking your entire freedom on this lawsuit. To note, I may make a delay time frame um, for this lawsuit, so you better be lucky that I get back in time. Alright. Alright, let's see. Tonight's tomatoes are Diesel, the irresponsible owner of his show, and Cumanide, the producer of Diesel's map review show. In tonight's episode, we'll be having the alleged script fire. Okay, so you two think that this situation is important enough to have a court case around this. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, of course. R really? Fine, we'll start this court. Diesel, where's your lawyer? Uh, he's getting the evidence from the original episode 10. In the meantime, I'd like to show the episodes that Humanide wrote for episodes 7 and 8. Sure there's anything wrong about them? Yes. Let's start with the correct 7th episode of this series, Bolt Zone. Being one of the most iconic maps created for FE2, it was created back in June of 2021. Being the remastered version, it would also be the sequel to Frozen Settlement, from being the concept of arriving in the area with magma and lightning occurring. The map has always been iconic, one of the few maps considered timeless with its detail and long experience for FE2 standards. But where do I stand for this map's quality? To be honest, there are a lot of concepts attempted in Bolt Zone, where I enjoy what's there. Let's start with the reason why I like the map, being one of the few maps to attempt and succeed with the concept of scene diversity to tell story. Unique sets and designs or scenes are essential for a map to make it memorable, which the map does attempt well. For example, the first room climbing up an elevation for the lava to swimming in acid underneath the lava river with zip lining around big structures and the finale rushing towards the, t the exit jumping to the finish line with the lava chasing you atmospheric maps can work with a, a different variety of gameplay and set changes with the pacing still consistent and can provide a unique detail ideas which can make a map great it can also make the gameplay more memorable. I am planning a map making video to share more tips I have, so I'll share more by then. Also, the, the pacing is quite good, since you are constantly forced to move within a, with a few moments of, of a break. Either the zip lines or constant walking. But most of the time, it's either to show a scene change or to build intensity for the lava timing, which I can excuse most of the time. The tea towel style is also unique, from being simplistic shapes, which has lighting and different 
designs to help diversify the set compared to active volcanic mines and decaying silo, which those two use very similar structures within the map. While the map is good, I do have one nitpick with Bolt Zone, meaning the gameplay isn't as nappy as other modern crazies. The majority of jumps in the map are usually a bit big and long to not as sharp as other maps, specifically the final tower and the outside structures, which can make a placing slower. Although, even with this flaw, I still give props to the gameplay for having variation with platforms and fast lava. Old Zone has many unique traits compared to the landscape of maps I've seen in both games. The scene contrast and diversity helps the scenes progress, like it's a loose story through visuals and pacings. However, Old Zone lacks snappy amusement and harder gameplay elements with its elements which could have been one of the best maps for my preferences. If built today with our harder difficulty and tastes, regardless, this map should be a listen for many map creators, where while making gameplay fun is a priority, including atmosphere, scenes, and reason for a platform to be, there will create a more interesting and better map. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Alright, that was a waste of time. Wait, I have something to say. He repeats lines that advertisers hate. It could have been at the normal 11 minutes per episode. But he went over. That's why it was bad. Um. That's not illegal. Really. Um, yes. He did not break any laws. Since run times are not considered for censorship or anything against the the law system crap all right i guess your argument here is not valid anyway mar humanite you're up next gotta take this phone call hello hi diesel i'm at shark's office and he'll like to talk to you about the situation all right hey um I got this guy that wants your script. You have anything worthwhile? Anything within your cabinet? I'll pay you after this idiotic court session is over. Thank you for holding on to all the future script for a while. Don't worry, um, he'll receive your documents that are over in the cardboard over there. It's like this situation didn't even exist. Alright, good to know. Alright, um, we fit our time limit on this we'll progress tomorrow and next part will be the next section all right bye